Are you not sure how to repair or glue something ceramic that broke? Today, we're going to show you how. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another how-to vlog today. We're going to have some fun with some basic gluing skills today. We will cover the most fundamental aspects of basic gluing in this informative how-to tutorial. Let's get started. Today we're going to do something that's a little more complicated. We're going to glue. We're going to glue a ceramic drawer that came out of a pottery barn uh, thingamabob. This little uh, knob here fell off or broke and I'm going to teach you how to do it. First we're going to talk about the glues real quick. You know, ceramic is very porous and since this has a lot of pieces, this is very forgiving. You can use almost any kind of glue with this. Um, I personally think epoxy is the best glue because you mix two compounds together and it, it creates a chemical reaction and becomes very strong. Uh, these other glues are not quite that way, um, but I hate using epoxy. It's a, it's a big mess. It's complicated. I, I just, not complicated, but it's just a mess, all right? So you have various glues you can use. There's this uh, regular Loctite uh, super glue, which I've had a lot of success with. It works uh, without water. And then you have this Gorilla Glue Minis. These are great. Uh, they also work, uh, if you're using a porous surface, you don't need water, but if, you, if you're uh, gluing uh, like uh, metal and other non-porous surfaces, you can add a little water and that'll aid in the curing process. But I'm not going to do that either. Today we're going to use something called Gorilla Clear Grip Contact Adhesive. This uh, bonds also, uh, but it, in this case they recommend you glue both surfaces and wait a couple minutes for it to you know, start its reaction with the air and then, you, then it'll make a stronger bond when you connect it or, you know, Put, them, put it back together. And another important piece when gluing anything almost is having a grip. These are called uh, Irwin Quick Grips. I ap absolutely love these things. Uh, they, I have a, a lot of them. You can never have enough. Keep them in all your uh, work areas in your house and you'll never go running around for them. But what I like to do is I like to test the, uh, the grip first just to go through a, a go through the motions here. So when you're using something round like this, it's, uh, it can be a little tricky and a little wobbly. So I, I like to go through the motions first just to make sure it's in and then basically just go through a dry run with no, literally a dry run with no, with no glue on it and just see, see, there you go. I'm kind of happy with the way that came out. And always use a bigger grip than you really need because you'll have more surface area on these little pads. So that seems to, the dry run seems to work. So what I'm going to do now, real quick, is I'm going to put glue on both surfaces to get it, to get it uh, ready to go. And I'll smooth it out a little on each side. You might want to have a wet rag handy because there'll be some overspill. And I'm going to put some on this, this little piece here. Spread it out. It'll spread itself out when you put the clamp on. So I'll let that sit for a minute. And you really should clean the tip off before you screw the, the cap back on. This will help keep it from getting all gunky. Hey, what's going on here? I hate this lens. I, I, I'm using it only because of the light situation now, but the light, the lens is no good. So I've waited about, I don't know, 30 seconds or so. That I'm impatient here, so I'm just going to put this piece back on. Once I think that it has a Once it's in correctly, I'm going to wipe a little bit of the extra glue off before I put the clamp on because I have room. I really hate this camera lens, but I'm going to make sure it's set in pretty good. I should use a wet rag, really, but I don't really care. This is not mine. So I'm going to set it so it's perfect and there's no 
once I think it's, I didn't clean it good enough. Now I'm gonna put the clamp on like I did before. Worst lens ever, really. Okay, so that's all set now. And I'll let that dry for uh, the, the instructions say a couple hours, and, but it, I think it cures within 24. So this little piece will be just like new. But don't forget, the, um, the type of surface this lens really is the worst, um, is uh, will dictate what kind of glue you use. I'm gonna change the lens for my next video, which is gonna be fixing a battery tester. So if you like, please hit the subscribe button and all these bells and all that, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a nice day. Thank you.